Settled on 32, and that is exactly where Memphis is, 32. Florida Atlantic, 37. According to Ken Palm, Memphis is the best team in the AAC. That's what this ranking suggests. I should tell you, even Ken Pomeroy would not necessarily tell you that's what you should draw from this preseason ranking. Let me explain. I was talking to Jessica about it earlier. Because this comes out yesterday, mm-hmm. and I think some Memphis fans probably grabbed it and um, said, we're 32, but even more interesting than that, we're five spots ahead of Florida Atlantic. Why, like what? Why, why do people keep picking Florida Atlantic to win the league? Here's the most referenced algorithm in college basketball, and it says, not so fast, my friend. Your Memphis Tigers should be your AAC favorites. Again, Kim Pomeroy would not even tell you that's necessarily true. Here's the issue with Kim Pom preseason rankings, and really Kim Pom ratings, until you get to like middle January. Ken's algorithm, I don't know exactly what goes into it. He's never disclosed every bit of it because then somebody would replicate it and, you know, that wouldn't be good for business. So he doesn't disclose exactly what goes into it, but he does talk about it uh, in general terms. And one of the things he has told me in the past is that one of the most important things when it comes to being ranked high in the preseason in his algorithm is what have you been in recent seasons? Not just last season, but in recent seasons. Going back five years, ten years, wherever the cutoff is. In other words, if you want to be ranked high at Ken Palm in the preseason, the most important thing is not to enroll a top ten recruiting class or enroll two of the best transfers in the country The most important thing is, have you consistently been good? Because if you've consistently been good, that algorithm assumes that you will be good again. There are a million other factors, but that is one of them. So when you look at Memphis's recent Ken Palm rankings, 2021, they finished 31st. 2022, they finished 24th. 2023, they finished 20th. Heading into this season... They're at 32. Yes, adding Caleb Mills and Jordan Brown and Javon Quinterly all play a role in putting Memphis into the top 35 at Kempom in the preseason. But having good teams consistently for the past three years also plays a role. Now go to Florida Atlantic. So, okay, that explains why Memphis is in the top 35, although – all these conversations we've had all offseason, as recently as I think last week, you asked me where would I have Memphis in the top 25 I want? Somewhere just on the outside of it. So 27 to 35. That's what I've said. Since Jordan Brown enrolled, mm-hmm. I think I've said consistently, I'd have them somewhere between 27 and 35. So that lines up with where they are, 32. Now I have Florida Atlantic in the top five of the top 25 and one, and they're 37th at uh, Ken Palm in the preseason. So somebody might be going, okay, now how does that make sense? Especially when they finished 17th at Ken Palm last season. People, and trust me, they do, can say all they want to about Florida Atlanta just got hot in the tournament. The only reason people think Florida Atlanta is good because they got hot in the tournament. First off, that's wrong. Florida Atlanta was good all season. Yeah, they wrecked their league. I mean, that's just true. Florida Atlantic went 35-4, and four, all right? They won their league. It was a good league. They won their league tournament. They were awesome all year. Were they fortunate to get out of the first round of the NCAA tournament against Memphis? Yes. But they were good all year. Even before the Memphis game, Florida Atlanta was ranked 23rd at Ken Palm. So even if they lost right there at the buzzer, they'd have still finished as a top 25 team, and then they brought the entire starting lineup back. All five starters from a team that won Conference USA, won the CUSA tournament, and then beat Memphis, Fairleigh Dickinson, Tennessee, and Kansas State on their way to the Final Four. All five starters are back from that team. That team finished 17th at Ken Palm last season. So how are they 37th heading into this season? That makes no sense. It's the exact same thing I was just talking about. Florida Atlantic was awesome last season. 
but last season is not the only thing that contributes to this algorithm. The year before also plays a role, and the year before that, and the year before that. I'm going to tell you right now, Florida Atlantic's past five Ken Palm, final Ken Palm rankings, 162, 191, 181, 129, and then last season, 17. But those 162s and 191s and 181s, even though they have literally nothing to do with the caliber or quality of this basketball team, they play a role in creating this preseason ranking. So I guarantee you this is what Ken Pomeroy would tell you. The way my algorithm handles preseason expectations says that Florida Atlantic is not even one of the 35 best teams in the country and not even the best team in the AAC. But if you were to ask Ken, okay, now take that set aside, what do you think? He would say, oh, yeah, Florida Atlantic is the best team in the, in, in the AAC, and they should be a preseason top 15 team at worst. But it's just his algorithm puts an incredible emphasis on past five years, past 10 years, wherever the cutoff is. Memphis benefits from recent success. Florida Atlantic, outside of last season, had no success, and they're being dragged down by that. That's the – I hope that's not – that's the – I think most accurate explanation for how Memphis is ahead of Florida Atlantic in these rankings. Either way, Memphis is right where 